Hello and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today is April 25th, 2014. I think it's the 25th. My name is Lynn Marquardt and I'm your host. How is everyone? Today we're going to work on some uh, the, the gray quilt. I hope you all have your own project. It's amazing what we can get done in 60 minutes. So I'm just going to jump right in and again hopefully you have your projects get get going on them or you're just watching I hope you've had a good week what I wanted to do was last week remember we made the gray squares that are here hopefully you can see the the sideboard today what I wanted to do was put make some borders that are going to go kitty corner here and about half an hour ago I posted the picture of the quilt that I designed in EQ up on the Google site hopefully you can see that I'm going to open up my I don't have a color printer so I printed a black and white here you can see I know it's hard to see but just to get a feel that what we're going to do is make these borders and the outside border is going to be in the green and then the inside border that comes like this is going to be in the gray so hopefully it looks a little modern when we're done and thank goodness for e electronic quilt because the borders are pretty funky in design for example the first border I'm going to make here first I'm going to make my fabric so I'm going to sew together two and a half inch squares of green all together and then I'm going to cut out my wedge and I'll show you, hopefully you'll see what, what I mean when we get going. Basically the, the size fabric I need to create is 17 and 1 16th long by 6 and 5 eighths wide. And then I'll put it on my cutting board and I'll cut it kitty corner and that will make the first wedge. So that's my plan. Then we'll do the same thing for the gray and then we'll do another green one. And I'm hoping that it really offsets the main squares. So that's the plan for tonight. Um, I started to sew a lot of these greens together and I hope everyone is doing well. Spring is sprung. Oh and don't forget send me send me email tell me what you're working on to lmarquadont at gmail.com or post on Google I'll get an email and I'd love to hear how your week's going last week it was so fun to hear from so many of you and all week I've been hearing from new folks who have found us on YouTube which is wonderful So you'll see I'm just making my web of greens so that I can make that 17 inch by 6 inch or so block. I think I'll put that aside for a second. My, I have to tell you the Accu quilt is a wonderful thing. The Accu quilt cutter. I cut all of these squares in one hour and this should be enough for the for all of the borders so I'm happy with that purchase we've been um, gardening up a storm here on our street I know in the past I've shouted out to my neighbor Bridget and she and I have been working all week up the street on preparing the garden for plants and actually planting. So we planted peas and some greens and hopefully we won't get a hard frost. If we do, it's only seeds. In fact, Bridget, if you're out there, <laughs> send me a picture of the garden 
and I can show it to folks. In fact, no, I think I have it on my, my phone. Hang on. Last year on the garden, and this is a community garden, by the way, that we do up the street with Penny. Penny has lent, actually Bridget started this a few years ago. Penny lent her the side yard, and she invited me to join her last year. And it's amazing how quickly things grow and overgrow, and we keep needing to expand the garden. And Bridget did a lot of the weeding of the paths in between what we planted. And this year we're hoping not to do that because we have made pathways with straw. Can you see that? And underneath that is black weed control fabric. I'm so excited. And then, of course, the soil we augmented with compost. We didn't do winter rye. Maybe we'll do that some other year. But it's very fun. And um, we'll keep you posted on what, what grows. It's definitely, now's the time when, I don't know about you guys, but the, the garden calls me and I do less quilting come summertime. So I'll be interested to hear, folks. Oh, look at that. See how I have two blocks that are the same right next to each other? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the web. Hang on. These are the worst scissors. Okay. See what I'm doing? So I had two squares that were matched up there. I didn't want that. So I just cut it off. Now I'm just going to flip it over and sew that together. And I'm having the seams go every other way, so it'll be easy to press. There were some good articles online this week about pressing seams. For non-quilters, I bet they laugh out loud when I say that, but it really does make a difference, as you know. It, it can stretch your fabric. You know, so when, when we get to pressing this, in fact, let me get my iron, get it heated up. It turns itself off if I don't keep it going. Um, We'll press and make sure not to push it and get it all stretch the fabric. I hope everyone had a nice Easter. It was beautiful here. Keep getting sidetracked here. It reminded me of Carol. I wonder if Carol's out there. Hope you are doing well. Carol's my sister-in-law, and I saw her at Easter. She keeps threatening to come over with her Janome machine, as you know, and we'll quilt together sometime. Well, let me finish this one. Oops. You'll notice I'm doing leaders and enders, so I don't have any extra thread. And I'm going to be so curious to see if this really sets off the center squares. I must admit, I love the red here. It's hard to, can't really see the color. But I think compared to the green, that's really going to work. Okay, so we're getting there. That is two, well, it's going to be two inch squares, two, four, six, eight, ten. All right. Well, 14. Okay, so I still need four more squares. 
the four more strips of squares. Oh, I love this fabric. It's lettuce. just dropped. This is the kind of sewing where I'm making fabric. Oh, and look at that. I'm cutting the webbing. I shouldn't be doing that. This does not have to be precise, as you know. Or as precise as some other. But the reason I'm doing it and not cutting it out of one big fabric is I want to see the variety of the fabrics. Sew these together. You know, when you look at the quilt, like the quilt behind me, which I know is competing with this quilt we're working on, but with all of the fabrics in any scrappy quilt, what makes it interesting is because all the scraps are different, your eye moves to different places. And, you know, it should be able to rest somewhere, but you also want it to kind of dance across what you're looking at, I think. Oh, so last week, that's right, it was the night before, or two nights before the marathon. I hope everyone saw the Boston Marathon and... We were thrilled it went off without a hitch. And I think it did attract the 38,000 or so runners, 37. I never did see the final, final number. Oh, it's my husband's office phone. Sorry about that. I'm going to let it ring. It's band night tonight again, and they're down one guitarist. But I think they'll make do. Okay, we're getting close here. I always love seeing if something's going to work. Once we make one border, I'll check the email and see who's out there. So I have this and this. I'm going to put it together, and that should be our 17 inches. And here we go. It's been fun to watch online the quilts from Paducah, Kentucky this week. They, haven't they been amazing? I'm curious if anyone out there was able to, to go to Kentucky this week. Okay, so. We've made our fabric. That's kind of cool. Now let's see if my iron. Oh, and I need to set every seam. Do you all set your seams? I try to as much as I can. It really makes a crisper end product. And I do use steam. I know many people don't. Sometimes I want to get one of those old irons um, that don't have the steam. The cast iron ones. Okay, now I'm going to have it all go the same way. 
without stretching it too much. I really should be going up and down. Okay, so there's that. Let's give it one good press on the front. Okay, so now what we want to do is let's look at my cheat sheet here and remember what I needed to do. 17 and 1 sixth by 6 and 5 eighths. <clears throat> 2, 4, 6, okay, so we've got plenty there for 5 eighths, and then, good, it's 20 inches long. So I'm actually going to stand up. Hopefully you can see me, I think you can. And we're going to do it 6 and 5 eighths. Actually, I should do it this way first. 17 and 1 sixth. Question is, I think I'm not even going to true that up. So let's go. Seventeen and one sixteenth. Oh my goodness. So that's half of one eighth. There we go. Oh, that'll be good in another strip quilt. Okay. And now we want six and five eighths. True that side up. Cutting my head off, sorry. Okay, two, four, six, and five eighths. Okay. There's another strip we can use. And then what we do is we cut it right in half diagonally. And you know, with any luck, we can use both sides. Okay. Ta -da. Now, that is going to work. That goes there. You see that? Did I ever tell you about the time I made bathrobes out of patchwork? Whoops. They were very heavy. <laughs> and I know I'm getting cut off here. Okay, that's going to be interesting. This will work, this will work down in the bottom. So, that's cool. I'm not going to let this go. I'm just going to put that there. Now what I want to do is make another, another green one. And then I'll do the other two corners. And what I'll have to do is I'll have to cut it the other way. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was thinking I might go right to the gray, but I think we need another green one first. But before we do that, let's see who's out there.
I saw that Bonnie Hunter had quilt cam the other night. I missed it. Okay, I'm going to start here. It's loading. Ah, Karen Cluin, welcome. So glad you found us. Okay, and we have several of you have added us back. Hang on. Ah, Karen, out in Pennsylvania. Oh, I love when she says this. TGI Fibercast Friday. TGIFF. <laughs> I thought it would never get here, she says. Great to see you. You too. Tonight I'm trying out a one block wonder quilt. Oh, by Bethany Reynolds. Jury's out on this one so far from Karen. She says she's my favorite sister. Well, she's my only sister. <laughs> That's cool. Send us a picture. For everyone else who may not have done the one block wonders, those are where you'll see a kaleidoscope of quilts. Look up Bethany Reynolds. Look up one block wonder. And what you do is you get, say, six repeats of a big print fabric, line them up so that they're exactly in the same direction. So you have, for example, if you had a flower, you'd have all six flowers right on top of each other, exactly. I mean, you can't be off at all. Then you whack it into pie shapes, and then you put all of the six wedges that all are from the same piece of the fabric together, and you make a kaleidoscope. It, it's really... Pretty cool. Karen, that's that's excellent. Oh, Rita, welcome. So glad you're joining us. Rita says, hello, love your colorful fiber cast. Oops, I just hit something. Have a good weekend from California. You too. I tell you, it's been feeling like California out here the last couple of days. You can't beat this weather. Although I hear it's going to rain this weekend, but I hopefully not, not where you are. Oh, and Carol. Carol says, hey, Lynn, I may bring Shy's sewing machine instead. Just got it from Joe on Marathon Monday. Wonderful. I'll be curious why you want to bring her machine. I, I didn't know she... Hmm, this is fun. Bring them both. And Marque, hello. And Cousin Norma, hello. Marque says, happy Friday to you and the gang watching. My Cousin Norma and I are watching and sewing along with you. Excellent. She is working on a You've Got a Mail quilt, and I'm string piecing still, but making progress. I don't know how you get so many quilts made so quickly. Well, I don't get them all done. I mean, we're still working on this. It's... Uh, and remember, I don't have children. I'm pretty, I, I don't have a whole bunch of things that pull me away from it. But Marquez says, I'm so happy to see you put the blue and white squares in the gray quilt. Okay, thank you. I think it really makes the quilt come to life. It looks like the moon is shining in your quilt. Thanks for what you do, your sewing friend Marquez. Thank you again for that feedback. I really did, as we talked about last week, removing the blue. And since I made so many, I thought I would try to keep keep adding it in there, so that's good. Let me just check one more thing and then I'll get back to the green. I hope you're all working on your projects. Send me pictures. That's good. Okay, 17 and 1 sixth. What do you think? Are you li I'm liking the green with that pink. Anyone uh, reading any good books? I need to get myself a good book. Just what usually happens is after, so I'm trying to walk every day. I'm doing my three mile loop and then between work and the quilting, by the time I get into bed, I must admit, I read a page or two, and then I fall asleep. Huh. 
my friend Jean. Jean, if you're out there, hi. She told me this week, she's the one who makes, she's cider milk quilts. She makes t-shirt quilts. And she said business is booming because of graduation coming up. Which makes sense. Should just pick. <laughs> this will be good. a text. Who's there? Oh, Jean. So Jean of Cider Milk Quilts. She says she can't figure out how to comment while I'm watching on my phone, but I am watching. I can't wait to see how you do this border. Oh, I'm glad, Jean. I love that. Are you quilting? Are you in your quilting room? Jean has her room over the garage and it doesn't get the internet access from from uh, in there so I often envision her in there with all of your fabric and you're quilting away. I hope you have a, like a Samsung phone. I forget what kind of phone you have. Anyway, God bless you for watching. Thank you for watching. And I will show you this border. Did I tell you what Google said to me? You know, on these Friday night casts, now we've, we started this in January, right? So January, February, March, April, almost four months, not that long. Google said last time I went on to, I don't know, I, was, I think I was changing it so that people could post pictures. It said that we have had enough viewers to fill a movie theater. And it said literally keep going. So that's what we're going to do. And I can't tell you how many people will write to me and say, I just found the YouTube videos and the archive. And it just warms my heart when that happens. Just to think how many of us are out there doing this. I'd love to hear if you, I think Peg, Peg down in Australia has talked about watching Alex Anderson and Quilt TV. I'd love to know if anyone else is watching any of the other shows and which ones are good. Because I have to tell you, I, I found Ebony Love. She's great when she's on. She's traveling and doing a lot of her teaching. Um, and Bonnie Hunter, of course. And I'd love to know if there are any others out there because when I'm not doing Fibercast, I am often in my studio and I would love company myself. Hint, hint. So if anyone's out there and wants to do one of these, let me know. I can hook you up. So we're getting a good pile here. This shouldn't take that long. Oh, you know what? I'm going to count how many I used. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Six, seven, eight, and that'll be our ninth one. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to web it right in there. See how I have eight connected and I have one under here? There we go. Now we have nine and nine. And then we can just join them. So I know it's, or I don't know for sure, but I suspect many of us have worked all week. I hope you had a good work week. And actually, that's not true. Or, or we all work doing different things, whether it was children, community service. My only my point was it's nice when Friday comes. <laughs> and oh, you hear that? I love when we get. It's like we've got mail. Who's there? Oh, it's Bridget, my favorite gardener, Bridget. She says I am enjoying the show. I'm so glad. My craft tonight is wine tasting. I love that. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Thank you, Bridget. I am so glad that you are joining. I'm going to get you here sewing or crafting. And your sister, too. And your mother when she's in town. Hi, Lucille. Lucille's down in the Dominican Republic. And she actually... She she do, does so much work down there for widows and orphans, and she has a feeding program there with Bridget's sister, Bernadette. Anyway, they do some sewing classes and have in the past, so we'll have to share some information about that and learn from them, see what they're doing. Who knows? Maybe Maybe we have scraps we could send down. Who knows? Anyway, oh, that's great. So Bridget is the one who really has been spearheading the community garden. there. Once we get these, then we'll web them together and we'll have our other two corners done. few weeks ago I took my Bernina in. Isn't that cool? So they're all webbed together. Don't you know the oil me light came on the other day? But I finally read the manual or I found where it said the oil light comes on every 180,000 stitches but and so I oil the, the hook and I do that every time I change my bobbin and it said keep doing that for two million stitches. So I just reset the oil button. That was going to be a little much since I just got it oiled the beginning of March. With Carrie. Carrie, how's your machine doing? 
See what I'm doing? Because I, I want to save on thread, I'm going to sew the other end do two here while I'm at it. The only possible problem is that I am nesting my seams the wrong way. You know what? Here we'll do a real leader ender. Trying to cut corners. I think I'm going to spring for some new Fisker scissors sometime soon. These I've used for paper for um, wrapping presents, and they're just awful. I often wonder when non-quilters happen upon our fiber casts or our YouTube videos, I often wonder and think if, if they think is, this is like watching paint dry. <laughs> anyway, what other news is going on? For me, it's not like watching paint dry. I'm having a ball. And remember, we're going to Las Vegas. I'll let you know the exact dates. when we get closer. So for those of you who may or may not use Electronic Quilt, so far I have Electronic Quilt 7 and I'm very pleased with it and I have to tell you it took me a while to figure out this border but once I figured out the border and found where I could print it, I can print either a template for each of these triangles or um, rotary cutting instructions, which I've done. And it's really remarkable that it does all the figuring for you. So, speaking of which, Louise, if you're out there, I know I owe you the fiber, the fabric uh, requirements for a double size mystery quilt. And I can now do it because I converted that. I put, you know, when I designed it, I didn't have EQ. And now I put it into e electronic quilt. So I will run the yardage for you. So I'm sorry that's taken me so long. I just. It's been a busy work week. But. That's no excuse. I'll get it to you this weekend. Deb Linehan, if you're out there, congratulations to your Bruins. I went up to bed early last night, but Bob was watching. And I must admit, for those of you in Pennsylvania, I don't know what's going on there. The Flyers were in it, I believe. We've been having some baseball controversy around here. For those of you who may watch it here in um, the Boston area. Oh, got another text. She said, oh, Jean. Jean says, hey, Lynn, who did you hear speak this week? Oh, Jean. That's right. 
I was able to, so speaking of Boston, we've been playing the Yankees for the last few days, and one of the Yankee pitchers got caught with tar, pine tar, on his neck. Is it the next steroid scandal? This I, I suppose they've been doing it for a long time, but boy, this will shine the spotlight on them all, all those pictures. Anyway, so that's been going on in Boston, and in fact, when I drove home from Boston, I was in there Wednesday at the Simmons Leadership Conference at the Seaport Convention Center, and when I drove home at like 10, the Red Sox, all the lights at Fenway were still on, and that was fun to drive by there. And then I turned my radio on, and I heard the last inning or two. But I was in there for the day, and this the Simmons Leadership Conference was in its, I think, 34th year. What an inspiring... I've gone several times. This one was particularly inspiring. There are about 3,000 women who attend. There are a few men, too. And it, it just really gives you a day to uh, reflect on what, what it means to be a leader, um, how it's, it's really, leadership it really, if done right, is a way to serve. And it's drawn people from around the world and speakers. Uh, Donna Karen spoke last year or the year before, Billie Jean King was the keynote speaker, Oprah Winfrey's been the keynote speaker, and they have breakout sessions with, um, you know, just economists and um, uh, psychologists and, and researchers, just women who frankly are at the top of their game, and it's a privilege to be able to see them. Anyway, that's a long-winded thing. There's my second piece to say that I got to see people like Rita Moreno, who did Electric Company and West Side Story, and she's 82, and she broke out in song a couple of times during her, the speech was how she got from here to 60 plus 20. She came on a boat with her mother from Puerto Rico to New York when she was five. Um, she was signed on by MGM when she was 17, and she went on from there. Anyway, it, w it gave me goosebumps. She really was that good. Um, so that was in the morning. Who else did I see? Um, the CEO of Campbell's, Soup. That was kind of interesting. There are only, did you know, in the Fortune 500, there are only 20, See, maybe 22, 23 female CEOs. IBM, of course. Yahoo. I'll tell you the truth, I don't know if Yahoo's in the Fortune 500. Anyway, um, Campbell's was interesting. She was talking about filling the pipeline of new brands and talking about the changes in our consumer habits and... I could go on and on about that. So that was good. And then, who else was there? Dr. Fisher was there talking about the female mind. That was kind of cool. And how there are four different person personality types. And this is, um, see what I'm doing? I'm having to clip this because I goofed. Oh, you know what? I sh I'm going to go this way so I don't have to be. How do I describe this? Because I sewed two of these on first, and I got the seams going the wrong way, when I matched them up, there are two seams that are going the same way. So I'm having to compensate. Anyway, this Dr. Fisher, in studying the brain, characterized four brain types, uh, that ruled by, the est by estrogen, 
that ruled by testosterone, that ruled by serotonin, and then that ruled by dopamine. And she said no one person is really um, told just one or the other, but certainly there are characteristics of people and tendencies. And um, that was just very interesting to hear her talk about that. And and I know I'm beating around the bush. I also saw Hillary Clinton speak, which was pretty cool. She has seen a lot of places in her in her time. She talked a lot about the female presidents around the world and how she really likes, enjoys talking with them. Um, she was very candid at the end. She answered some questions, some candid questions. She was asked about what was her biggest regret? Oh, she oh, and she was exhausted. She had just finished writing her book about four years of being Secretary of State. She could hardly keep her eyes open during the Q and A. And um, one of the questions was, what was her biggest regret during um, as as Secretary of State? And of course, she said Benghazi. And um, you know, she said lots of other things about raising Chelsea and. Looking forward to Chelsea's baby. She was she was pretty relatable. So now we're we have our second piece of fabric. I am gonna true that up. And if I remember, okay, 17 and 1 16th. Another little snippet. And then it was, excuse me, I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Ooh, the hiccups. And I'm not even doing wine tasting. Okay. Let's see. Six and five eighths. Sorry. <laughs> How do you like looking at someone's middle? Okay, six and five eighths. So I'm going to true this one up. Two, four, six, and five eighths. There we go. Another nice strip that we'll use somewhere. And now, remember on this one. How I went that way, I have to make sure to go the other way. Just do it kitty corner. All righty, baby. Talking to myself. I forgot you were there. Okay. There is the other one. How cool is that, huh? So, that like that. Now what we're going to do is make the gray. And then it's really going to pop. So that's going to be all gray in here. The gray squares. And we have the other two pieces for the other sides of the quilt. So that is great. That is good. Let's see who's out there. I hope I have time to do a, a gray one. So Jean, thank you for asking about that. That was a treat.
Oh, hello, Rebecca. Rebecca Roosh. Am I saying that la your last name correctly? Oh, I'm so glad you're on. I'm just, I'm enjoying following you. Rebecca says, I'm working on some paper pieced feather blocks tonight during Fibercast. I caught up with Bonnie Hunter's quilt cam before your cast. Thank you for keeping me motivated. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love that. Here is a feather block, very modern. I like that. So Rebecca, how about doing a fiber cast episode? I could give you the, the reins. Just think about it, something to think about. Because I remember seeing your new studio and it's lovely. Anyway, welcome. Joyce Morganelli, or, oh, I'm sorry, Joyce, I didn't mean to say your last name. Joyce says, I recently got a frosted ruler with the black lines like the one I see you, you are using now, and it is so much more easy to read than the clear ruler with the yellow and black lines, isn't it? I was just thinking that to myself tonight because I have both and this is so much more precise. I totally agree with you. I'm glad. Just finished a Bruins quilt for my husband for the playoffs. So just enjoying watching you tonight. Oh, that's great. That's right. I bet he is loving seeing the Bruins in the playoffs. Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Joyce says she's just joined. Another Joyce, Joyce L. Had some running to do and just got back. I love you on Fibercast. Thank you. How is your cat? Hopefully she's doing fine. Getting better every day. And I'm so glad you were able to join. That's great. Ooh, Marquet again. She says, thank you so much. I love, I love getting your emails. She says, I love the border and the layout of this quilt. It's going to be gorgeous. Oh, good. I've been pressing fabric to go in my new shelf in my sewing room when I am not sewing. Oh, good. Anyway, you ask about books. I have been watching, not reading, on Netflix, the show Call the Midwife and Land Girls. It is set in the 40s during World War II and shows the life and times of what the young ladies did while their men went off to war. Great series. And now I'm watching the grand... I'm, I have to turn the page. Thank you. That's just what I needed. Uh, the Grand, all great shows. Love your bubbly personality. Oh, thank you, Marquet. And thank you. You know, call the midwife and land girls. I will check that out. Cool. Catherine from London. I've been missing from your live cast for a while, having to catch up at other times. Good to see you tonight. Oh, I'm so glad to see you too. It's probably pretty late there. So glad to see you. I hope I have my times right. Yeah. Ah, oh, wow, you guys have made my night. Well, I think what we're going to do is, if everyone has a little bit of time, Let's do a little bit more of our gray and see if we can, basically what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in with gray. So let's see what we can get done in the next five minutes. And remember our motto, it's amazing what we can get done in 60 minutes.
there's Sandra's out there and how she's doing and hi Peg and hi Ann up in Canada and Joni out in Minnesota and Dennis up in New Hampshire and Judy down on the vineyard Update on my car. For those of you who have been following the saga, the they finally were able to fix it on the third time. It was the Jeep. They were able to replicate the it not starting and discovered there was a ground wire that needed to be tightened. So no lemon laws needed. It has been working, but then don't you know? I was driving yesterday. Now the air conditioning doesn't work. And I know it's the computer because I can put it on maximum and the air conditioning works fine. It's very cool. But then when I put it on auto and I sync it up so that the passenger and the driver are supposed to have the very same air conditioning, um, the Freon will be coming out of one and then it will be coming out really hot out of the passenger seat. So. And I called the dealer and get this, I couldn't bring it in yet because one of the technicians who was working on my the problem the last time was not in and he literally said to me, you want the same person to diagnose it who's been tracking your progress. He said it's like a doctor, you want to go to the same doctor for a car. So stay tuned. Hopefully we won't get a heat wave. And I do certainly love to ride in it and it looks pretty so keep your fingers crossed that we get it fixed and then it's fine. So I think what I'll do is I'll web these together and then we'll call it another fiber cast night. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six. This next one, I have to make it to be 33 and 11 sixteenths tall. So it's going to take quite a while. Let me do one more here. So we'll web this together. Rebecca of Feather Fame. Ooh. Hmm. I don't want to do this. I'm going to undo this because I, I had two matching here. I'm going to switch it around. I'm curious what you're going to be doing with your feathers. If you're making a modern quilt or is it a consignment? Ooh, that's not going to work either. See this? I have the same color gray on both ends. And I need to mix it up. Two more. 
Here we have our web, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six more seams, and then we'll call it. texting us. Jean is asking, do I want a green, do you want a green cornerstone with the green wedges? Do you think maybe I want to do that instead of the red? Maybe. Let's see what it looks like. So Jean has just sent a text and suggested maybe instead of red and it would be probably one big piece, right? Actually that might be great. Maybe it wouldn't compete as much. Can everyone see that? Huh. Gene, that might just be really cool. I'll try both. That might be cool. What I really was hoping that the gray would recede and that these would just pop out. And I think the more we get gray in here, we'll see if that really works. Anyway, thank you. Maybe I should do that. I'm sorry, everyone. I think we're going a bit over 9 o'clock. Ooh, we are. I'll do this one seam, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Well, tonight we have worked on borders for our gray quilt. I hope that you have worked on your project. I really appreciate all of the emails and checking in. That was a lot of fun. Oh, and Jean has just wrote, she said, I meant the little one in the sashing. I meant that, do you want green cornerstone with the green wedges? Oh, this is so funny. I can see people who, before the internet times, they're probably saying, why don't you just pick up the phone and talk to each other? But this is much more fun. You mean like that? I'll definitely play with the cornerstones. How's that? Maybe we do want them all to be green. Ha! Huh. Okay, so we'll play with it. Anyway, as you can see, we're still designing here as we go. And I really appreciate everyone tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. It's uh, the highlight of my week. And between now and next Friday, I hope you have a lot of time to be creative. Keep sewing, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.